Hey everyone, a quick Friday evening video. Let's talk about some trade stuff. Let's talk about free agency stuff. Martin Natchez, I'm not going to waste any time here talking about the Boston Bruins and Vancouver Canucks. Both teams, heavy interest in Martin Natchez. Elliot Friedman talked about Martin Natchez rumors and specifically with the Vancouver Canucks targeting him. Donnie and Dolly also talked about it. Always good on Vancouver stuff. Apparently, Martin Natchez was definitely involved in the Elias Pettersson offers from Carolina during the season and that Vancouver will be going after him this offseason. Boston apparently was mulling an offer or mulling trade conversations with the Carolina Hurricanes for Linus Allmark before the deadline. Elliot Freeman couldn't confirm if Martin Natchez was in that. So Boston, Vancouver, you can definitely lock those two teams in going after Martin Natchez. I've thrown Winnipeg Jets in there. You could probably throw in a few other teams. Martin Natchez, probably not returning to Carolina. It's very likely he goes in a trade. He's an RFA this offseason, so Carolina's just not going to sign him. They're going to try to move him in a deal. Don Waddell stepped down as GM of the Carolina Hurricanes, so the Hurricanes are going to have a lot of news coming out. I'll be making some videos talking about it. Tulski is taking over as interim GM. See, I'm, I'm just going to rip through the news here. Martin Natchez, look out for a trade this offseason. Linus Allmark, if, is it a one-for-one -one swap with like Martin Natchez? One-for-one? One? I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Again, is there any proof behind those being a conversation? Not yet, but we'll see this offseason. Linus Allmark, if he doesn't go to Carolina, where else could he go? We've talked about L.A., Apparently, there were some rumors that Linus Allmark potentially declined the trade to New Jersey before the deadline. He has that modified no trade clause. Apparently, he used it. We didn't know which team. We thought it could be the Kings, but now there's rumors suggesting it could be the Devils. So keep an eye on that. And then overall, apparently, there's just a lot of rumors suggesting that Vancouver could be moving other guy, guys out. Phil Pronick needs a new contract. There's rumors that maybe Vancouver moves on from him. I think that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Quinn Hughes, Norris type year, played so well with Hronik. While Hronik's offense dropped off in the second half of the year, I still think he's a guy you should sign long term. And maybe the fact that his production dropped off a bit, maybe you can make a reasonable contract offer in the six to seven million dollar range long term. I think for a right shot guy, a guy that can play with Quinn Hughes, there's huge value there, right? Like look what the Avalanche have seen with Devon Taves next to Kel McCarr. I think Hronik can be that for Quinn Hughes. Also on the Vancouver Canucks, Elias Lindholm could be leaving and it could actually be the Boston Bruins that go after him. Elliot Freeman's talked about Elias Lindholm being a big target for the Boston Bruins. Over the last like couple of years, I've talked about Elias Lindholm potentially going to the Boston Bruins. They already have Hampus Lindholm, whether it's a seven-year deal that Boston offers them or, I mean, it doesn't happen often in the NHL, a sign and trade could work here. I just think Boston's going to offer him a long-term deal. And I think that when you look at like the $6.5 million cap hit for Hampus Lindholm, it could be very similar for Elias Lindholm, especially with the drop-off year in production. I think he was wanting like a Bo Horvat type deal, like in the $8 million range. I think he probably lost like a million per year this past season. So keep an eye on Elias Lindholm. I think long-term he could get anywhere from like six to 7 million, maybe higher sevens if it's like a rebuilding or retooling team. But I think if it's a contending team, it's probably going to be like, 6.5 range that's my prediction so Elias Lindholm may be leaving Vancouver Phil Peronic rumors you talk about Martin H is definitely going to get traded and then Linus Allmark I think it's very likely but uh, we'll see what Boston uh, sees in those offers because I think one year left in Allmark Allmark and Swayman have had a good relationship but I think Allmark would be down for a, a starting job I think LA would be the perfect fit but I think Carolina, if they were going to move on from Frederick Anderson, it could check off and Allmark could be a good tandem. So as always, guys, thank you so much for the support of the channel. If you're subscribed, I hope to see you around more. Uh, definitely drop a like and comment. I do really appreciate it and reach out anytime. We'll talk soon. Have a good night. Peace.